Israel's President Herzog giving an exclusive interview to Sky News today. Let's take a listen to what he said. This is a declaration of war, not, not because we are restrained and because we know the repercussions and because we have deliberations with our partners, we are considering all options and I'm quite confident that we will take the necessary steps that are necessary to protect and defend our people. We are not war seekers. I think I would leave it at that. All right, let's bring in our panelists for joining us now as the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, more inclined. Also with us, foreign policy analyst Harley Lipman. Thank you guys so much uh, for joining us. Harley, what do you think about that? You have Israeli's president saying, listen, this is a declaration of war. Is this a declaration of war? They were thankfully able to intercept 99 percent of the 300 plus drones and missiles that Iran launched. Yeah, so it was an extraordinary display of solidarity with Israel by the United States, England, France, Jordan, Saudi Arabia. It was quite impressive how they were able to knock out 99% of the attack. But that said, it cost Israel dearly. Uh, the defense weapons that Israel utilizes is very costly. And the key question here is, is Hezbollah. That's where most of the missiles are stationed that could hit Israel. And Iran is holding them back. But if Iran gets Hezbollah to attack Israel, they could overwhelm Israel's defenses. But I think the main point here is that if you look at all the violence in the Middle East, it all comes from Iran. This is a country that wants to destroy Israel first and then America. Israel being the little Satan, America being the big Satan. So at some point, I think the world has to address the notion of regime change so that we could finally have peace in the Middle East. Morton, what do you think about that? Is a regime change needed? <laughs> well, of course, this is a, a Nazi-like terrorist regime. It is important to get rid of these leaders. But Joe Biden, in terms of that issue, does not have Israel's back. Joe Biden has given this terrorist regime $26 billion, and by ignoring the sanctions that were set up in the last administration, where uh, uh, Iran was on their back economically, they've now uh, increased their reserves to over $100 billion. So we have to both bankrupt them and respond. And I am deeply disappointed that Biden has said, I have your back, but don't you respond to Iran. For God's sakes, we had 300 missiles that attacked Israel. If we had 300 missiles attack, attacking us from Canada or Mexico, would we ignore it? We'd respond. So I am deeply disappointed about Joe Biden's response here. Uh, uh, and, and this is nothing new. He's demanded a unilateral ceasefire against the Nazi-like terrorist group uh, Hamas. He's threatened to withhold aid, threatened to withhold arms. I, I am very saddened about the response of uh, Israel's great ally, America, to this conflict. Israel wants to respond immediately to Iran, as they should, as any country would. Joe Biden is stopping them, and we have to speak out against that. We have less than two minutes left, so I'll ask you both this question. Morton, you can go first, and then, and then Harley, if President Trump was in office, would this have happened? He was very stern when it came to Iran. What do you think, Morton, and, you, and then Harley? <laughs> Under the previous administration, with the, with the extraordinarily strict uh, uh, sanctions, Iran was virtually bankrupt. The regime was on the verge of collapsing. So they wouldn't have had the wherewithal to do this. They wouldn't have had the wherewithal to give arms and money to Hezbollah and Hamas if the sanctions were not ignored by Biden. So yes, I think under the, the regime, under the rules of the previous administration, Iran would not be in the shape they're in now to be able to cause this type of disaster. And Harley, we have a minute left. What do you think? Well, Trump has one asset that I think has eluded probably every American and every American president in the last century, and that is unpredictability. And that's very powerful in international relations because our enemies are afraid of him. They don't know what he's going to do. So that proves to be a powerful deterrent. And I think it's no accident that when he was president, we didn't see this kind of bold attacks by Iran because they're afraid of him. And that will promote peace in the region. So we need to be strong and we need to retaliate strongly and we need to support our ally because while it may start with Israel and the Jews, 
never ends with Israel and the Jews. They're coming for America eventually. All right, gentlemen, we have to leave it right there. More inclined. Harley Lippman, thank you both so much.